Hello. In this session, we will create a bubble spawner where the colors shift in various directions. First, create a material for the particle. Set the blend mode to masked to use the opacity mask. Next, create a radial gradient exponential node to generate a circular shape. Use the power node to reduce the size of the circle. Then, create a particle color node to set the color of the particle in the Niagara system. Create a multiply node and use it to adjust the alpha of the particle by connecting the alpha pin of the particle color to the multiply node, shaping the circular pattern. Connect the multiply node to the opacity mask to form the shape of the particle. Next, create a particle position node to output the particle's position. Since this position is based on world position, use a transform position node to convert it to local position, ensuring it aligns with the Niagara system's location. Create three rotator nodes to rotate in the X, Y, and Z directions independently. Use the component mask node to separate the particle position into R, G, and B components and connect them to the rotator nodes. Then, create a dynamic parameter node to adjust parameters in the Niagara system. Set the name of the index as shown in the video and connect the pins to the corresponding rotator nodes with the same channel name. Use a Make Float 3 node to recombine the separated channels into a Float 3 format. To adjust the brightness of the particle, multiply the remaining pin of the dynamic parameter with the Make Float 3 node using a Multiply node. Finally, use another Multiply node to combine the particle position nodes and connect them to the emissive color to apply the particle color. Next, add a fountain emitter to create a Niagara system. To create a spreading movement, remove gravity force, set the mode to from point and add velocity, and adjust the values. Set shape location to box so that the particles generate in a box shape. To accommodate the large number of particles, set the sim target to GPU in properties and configure the bound box. Increase the particle count in spawn rate. To make the particles change size over time, create a scale sprite size node. Set the curve and values as shown in the video so that the particles appear and disappear naturally. Next, set the material in the sprite renderer to the material you created earlier. You should now see the colors of the particles change depending on their location. In the Initialize Particle section, adjust the particle's lifetime and size. Set the color mode to Random Hue, Saturation, Value, and configure the color and hue shift range as shown in the video to allow for more diverse color changes. Add a Curl Noise Force to introduce some noise to the movement. Then, add a point attraction force to make the particles gently pull toward the center. Next, configure the curve and drag to slow down the particle movement based on the values set in the curve. Create dynamic material parameters to get the dynamic parameter value set in the material. Add a curve to the bright parameter to change the particle's brightness over time.
Finally, set sine and cosine filters to the RGB parameters as shown in the video to allow the particle position to rotate with slight randomness in all directions. After setting these parameters, you'll observe that the particle colors shift as they rotate in all directions. Now place the Niagara system in your level and check to see if it displays correctly.